another famous medical mnemonic, I get smashed, for the causes of acute pancreatitis. The most common causes are in the first few letters. So first off, we have I for idiopathic, meaning that there's no apparent cause. G stands for gallstones, because the stones can block the flow of pancreatic enzymes into the duodenum. E is for ethanol, which represents alcohol use, and this is the most common cause of acute pancreatitis in the US. T is for trauma. The pancreas is one of the most commonly injured organs in abdominal trauma. Specifically, the liver and spleen are overall the most common. However, the pancreas is also often involved. The first S is for steroids, because there's been an association between corticosteroid administration and pancreatitis for a while and it's believed to be due to steroids slowing down the secretion from the pancreas. M traditionally is for mumps, but I use M for microbiological, because acute pancreatitis can also be caused by toxoplasmosis, hepatitis A and hepatitis B, as well as things like TB. Next is A for autoimmune pancreatitis. There are two types recognised, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is now recognised as a manifestation of IgG4 related disease. The second S is the one that stands out, scorpion stings. H is for hypercalcemia or for hypertriglyceridemia, specifically levels above 1000 mg per deciliter. E in the traditional mnemonic is for ERCP, a surgical procedure that is used to explore the biliary ducts. However, E also stands for emboli that can lead to ischemia of the pancreas and of course, since it's on this list, acute pancreatitis. Finally, we have D for drugs and these include furosemide, thiazides, opiates, valproic acid and estrogen preparations just to name a few.